So what's the difference between a Rolls Royce and a Kia? Now, I don't really know, but I know a Rolls Royce is supposed to be a better car. It's more luxurious. It's supposed to have a better engine. takes you further. Let's talk about matzah. In two weeks from today is Passover, and we're all celebrating the Seder. We're going to have to sit down to the first Seder, and the most important part of the Seder is the matzah. Go to the store, and there's matzah. There's this kind of matzah. And then we could have this kind of matzah, the round matzah, which I would say is the Rolls Royce of matzah. What's the difference between the round matzah and the square box matzah? They're both kosher for Passover. They're both not made with fermented wheat. So why would you prefer the Rolls Royce over the simple matzah, the plain matzah? Well, these square matzahs are made by machine, and these are made by hand. Besides being made by hand, they're also protected from water from the beginning, from harvesting. They're harvested a special way. They're protected from any moisture so that they don't ferment and they don't become chametz. When they're rolled out, they're made specifically for the mitzvah of Passover. They're handmade. It's like a difference between a, art, a piece of art, an original piece of art, and a litho. Um, every matzah that's handmade tastes a little different. There's some whole wheat, there's thinner, there's thicker. This is from Israel, this is from Brooklyn. And most important, interestingly, a lot of these come from Ukraine. This year it's been a problem because, of course, the, what's going on in Ukraine, the war, so they weren't able to get out most of the matzah that they usually bake, but we're still trying to get some our hands on for some Ukrainian matzah in support of their struggle, in support of the, of the people there. So, for Passover, these are all good, but for the Seder, I would recommend, encourage, you to get these these round handmade matzah. Um, if you like whole wheat, there's whole wheat. And if you want to get a whole box, we have a whole box. But otherwise, we're going to be get, distributing a full Seder kit that's going to have matzah, wine, haroses, hagada, Seder plate, parsley, egg, shank bone, and everything you need for a Seder for one person or for a few people. Make sure you sign up to get this at santapejc.com. We also have, of course, like I said before, the Seder. We're going to have a beautiful Seder. It's great to have everybody come together again. It's going to be April 15th, Friday night, right here. We're going to start with the first course, so make sure you come on time at 6.30, and make sure you sign up. Now, there's another kind of matzah, which you go to the store and bought this on Whole Foods, and it's called gluten-free matzah-style squares. Now, if you're gluten-free, there is gluten-free matzah, but this is not it. This is matzah-style squares. In fact, it says over here, not a replacement for matzah at the Seder. Why is that? Because this is made out of starch, potato starch, potato fl flakes. It's not made out of grain. And for matzah, we need to have one of the five grains. There is gluten-free matzah. If you need it, let us know, and we'll get you some. Have a very happy Passover, and let's all celebrate the true freedom as soon as possible.